What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here of the transmission rebuild process. We are currently waiting on Mark, as usual. Um, just kidding. But uh, no, we are cleaning some stuff until he gets here. I'll show you. I kind of just cleaned this bell housing up. I'm cleaning this plate next. So basically the plan today is when Mark gets here, we're gonna rip this open, show you guys how to install the Transgo shift kit. There's the pistons right there. Should be fairly straightforward. Um, then after that, we are gonna get this planetary separated from here, put the new planetary together so I can get this boxed up. This is one of the core items. Um, basically I'll explain that here, yeah. Basically, so what they do is you can kinda see if you look at the new billet planetary, they machine, they take your old one and they basically machine this out and put the new billet. The shaft is the main thing. Under certain horsepower loads, these can strip out or break or crack or whatever. So basically the, the gear is still the same, but it's just, they, they you can kind of see like how they machine that out and then they screw the new one in. So that's the main difference there. But uh, yes, we're going to do that. And we are also going to try and get this thing opened up and get it put back together. Now, from looking at the manual and the specs, there's a lot going on in this thing. There's a lot of snap rings. A lot, there's two clutch packs. This is your C1 and C2 clutch pack. So if we can get that together today, I'd be very happy. Going to clean up the pump a little bit. Put it, we've got to put a new seal in here. Um, just little things. And then uh, tomorrow we will be able to call Suncoast and um, ask about these steels. I think even if I have time, which we probably won't, so I'm probably not going to bother with it. I was going to try and um, fix the one to get the right tolerance that's already in there and try putting together the other one. Because that's what I'm worried about. If we switch a steel to get the right tolerance for that one, what happens when we flip it over and try and do the other same set if they're the same they're, they're two of the same set so what happens when we try and do the other one is it going to be the right tolerance or am I going to need Suncoast to send me another steel so I don't know it's going to be tricky I really hope I don't have to be sent anything because if I do we're kind of on a deadline here this thing needs to be done within the next like two or three days hopefully it needs to be going back in so if we have any delays I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble, so hopefully that's not the case, but we're going to do some cleaning until Mark gets here, and then I'll catch up with you guys when we tear into that. Okay, so we are going to get started here, taking the valve body apart. Um, all these bolts basically come out, and this thing will like split into two pieces, so yeah, that's the first step, is just to get all those out, and uh, catch up in a minute.
right, the valve body is split apart. Um, we got the two, there were two solenoids here. We got them out of the way, and then you can see the left side's open there, and the right side we just finished. I figured we'd do the one side, see how it all goes. You can kind of see everything lined up down in there. Um, coming to the directions, you can see one, you have to, there's a spring on one of these pistons. You reuse these. Everything else you discard and you use the new stuff. You can kind of see the order of everything. You can see you have your solenoids are labeled. One's brown, one's black. So we have those over there. Don't mix those up. And then uh, we're going to do the other side. And I'll show you what that looks like once we lay everything out. All right, so here's kind of the order that everything goes in there. Again, just looking at the directions, it, ma it makes it pretty simple. Um, to hold the ball and the spring down in the valve here, I just use like a little bit of Vaseline. Works pretty good to hold it in there when you're trying to slide the piston back in in its uh, spot there. So that's basically it. We'll uh, assemble that and throw that in there and then put our solenoids back in and that's pretty much it. And then we got a drill. There's a drill bit laying over there. We do have to go drill two holes out. body we got the solenoids back in everything is in here um, so the next step is to we marked them but it's already kind of wearing our sharpie away that hole and that hole both get enlarged this is just the like gasket plate it's called the separator plate I guess but um, yes yeah, so you just drill those out and then we can put this thing back together and job will be complete so let's get this drilled out here they give you the drill bit like I said it's already set up alright so valve body is back together new wiring harness is all hooked up um, the wiring harness was from Suncoast um, like I said actually I don't think I said this but I'm gonna say it now um, I took a picture of this before I took it apart so it made it the go back together very very simple it was easy so always take pictures of stuff um, make sure everything was clean like double double check everything's smooth and clean no burrs nothing all these bolts here were torqued to nine foot pounds which my wrench is in inch pounds it doesn't go that low in foot pounds so 108 inch pounds uh, multiplied by 12 that's how you get foot pounds to inch pounds um, and yeah that's pretty much a wrap for this it wasn't wasn't bad I mean um, not bad at all. I think it'd be a good little upgrade. I hear that these, these kits really do a great job, so excited to see how it shifts. Hopefully everything works well, but um, yeah, not bad at all. That being said, that's going to wrap it up for today. We're pretty much out of time. I wanted to get a couple more things done. I said that in the beginning of the video, but we're not going to have time. So uh, Mark's actually, I think, getting ready to leave. So. Um, yeah, but uh, if you like this video, hit the like button for me. Um, please subscribe if you are not already. And uh, we'll see you probably tomorrow on the next uh, day of this series, I guess. Alright, thanks guys. See ya.